Home Bosses. Welcome again to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can change a ready made interior file that maybe you have bought from Creative Fabrica or anywhere else. And you want to change that in Canva. In my last video, I showed you how to convert the PDF file into a PNG file so that we can upload it to Canva. That was in my last video, but in this video I'm going to show you the next step, what you can do with the file on Canva to make it different to all the other interiors. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find out what the size is that we need to, to make it in Canva. And if you remember, when you uploaded your PDF to Tangent Templates, it told you the sizes that you needed. It told you whether the sizes were correct for KDP. It gives you a lot of information that is really useful, I find. So anytime that you have a PDF and you're not quite sure what size is it, um, is there bleed on it? Is there no bleed on it? You can upload it here into Tangent Templates and it will give you a lot of information. So in this case, we have uh, a document that's six by nine with no bleed. So we go onto Canva, we click on Create a Design, Custom Dimensions, we click Inches and we just type in six by nine. If your interior says that it has got bleed, then in that case, you would find the sizes here. So you would, you would know the sizes that you have to input on Canva by looking at the dimensions. But in our case, because it's no bleed, we can just use six by nine. So we're on Canva. We've got our six by nine interior size here. So now we go on to uploads and we just drag this medication logbook into uploads and the other one as well. So we can click on this first one and now you can see it's on Canva with a transparent background because it's a PNG. We can make it bigger and now you can change it and adapt it and add things to make it different to this page. This page is really good. It's, it's a great interior. We don't want to run the risk of having the same interior as somebody else. That's why we want to change it a little bit. So the first thing I always do is I add a copyright page to the beginning. So I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to click here and move it up. So this is my first page. And then what I usually do is I just go on text and I make a this book belongs to. I have made another video how to make this and I will leave a link below this video to show you so you can watch that video and it shows you exactly how I make this first page but we can just quickly design it but like I said I mean my other video explains it in more detail. And then I also add a little copyright page. You can change the fonts. You can make this exactly the way you want it. So, and I will change the font here and use a Remo. So then we put in copyright. And then to get the little C for copyright, I click on Alt on my computer. Oops, let's have a look. I click on Alt and then I type in 0169 and when I let go, there's the little copyright symbol. You can also copy and paste it from the internet from, you know, if you go online and type in copyright and you see this little symbol, you can copy and paste it. But this is the easiest way to do it. You click Alt on your keyboard and then on your numbers keyboard, you, you keep Alt pressed and you then type in 0. 169 and you get the copyright symbol. And then you just type in your author name. So let's just make one up. Let's just say copyright John Smith. 
or you can actually type in the year copyright 2020 by John Smith something like that and you can write any copyright uh, description there that you want to do like I don't know all rights reserved you can you can make this longer you can write some more um, about the copyright if you want I leave that completely up to you this is just to show you how I would do it technically so then we make this font a little bit smaller the copyright page doesn't have to have a very large font you really want to make this the main thing and you can add graphics to this or whatever you want to do so the other thing that I would say is try to make the fonts all the same so make this font similar to the font of the interior if you can find the exact font so much the better but try and make it very similar to to all the other pages in your interior so how do we alter this how do we change this a little bit the easiest way to change it is by adding some graphics so you can make this smaller you can add something that is to do with medication or something medical so I usually go on elements and you type in something like medical let's have a look what comes up so I can see they used this one probably in the original um, let's have a look you could use something like this which is free if you're using the free version of Canva you can use all the graphics that have this little free sign when you hover over the graphics some of them are pro if you can see that one says pro this one is free this one is free so there's plenty of free ones and you know that the free ones are definitely okay to use the license covers those so absolutely no problem to use those so let's see what this would look like we could put this up here now we know that we can't use color in the interior so we would have to change the colors to a gray now we can use it as a black and white interior and you could put that in the middle you could put that to one side whatever you want to do with it you can add something to this page by using graphics I would probably put it in the middle something like that so already your page is different to other pages you could also do things I don't know let's have a look let's see I always quite like these type of medical symbols the caduceus let's put him let's put it over at the top and maybe make it a bit gray so that it's not so harsh looking that's a little bit better so you know this is how you would do it by adding an element a graphic something like that now you could also try and change this a little bit by covering it like for example if you go on elements and you use one of these squares you can use this to cover some elements if you wanted to make this different you could do it like this this is a very easy way to do it just by covering it and then you click on the color white so now all of that is completely gone and then you can add your own heading whatever you want to do so this is another way to make this different let's put that away and the same with the second page let's go on uploads again so now we've got the second page we can enlarge this one and again you can do the same thing just use an element um, maybe type in medication And you could use something like I'm trying to look for the free ones let's filter them so you can filter to just show the free elements so you could do something like this actually that one is quite nice I like that and then we can make it gray so that is another way to do it so basically you're just adding elements you're adding graphics you could make 
a border around this to make it better so for that you could go on elements and type in border and again you can filter it and just get the free ones so you could do something you could make it a little bit more more fancy by having this type of thing you you'll have to find the right the right border for the size of the page this doesn't quite work because it's too square but if you can find something like that and it's a little bit more like like this one for example you know i i don't know if this is very medical looking probably not but i'm just showing you so that you can have an idea of how you can add an, a border um, so i wouldn't use that one but i'm sure you can find one if you know i'm trying to make this video quite quick so that i don't bore you too much <laughs> so i'm just going to show you how you would do it but you have more time take your time and find a really nice border that you can use you can even use these kind of elements here um, you know if you want to write something into these kind of elements they're quite good so you can make that a light gray you can make it bigger and then you can put your text in there and change the heading for this you know so there's so much that you can do to make this template completely different and then all you do is you add the pages and canva only lets you have 100 pages but you can just make a book 100 pages for a logbook that is okay or you can make two pdfs and then merge them together so then all you do for this is you download it as a pdf standard is fine for the interior the covers are usually pdf print because it's a higher quality but pdf standard is absolutely fine and then you can combine them in another um, software like I love PDF and then you have a completely new interior so that your interior is different to everybody else's and that's how I do it in Canva using my ready-made interiors from Creative Fabrica so I hope this was useful for you I know from your lovely comments that you're all really working hard and really starting to produce books for those of you that have just started i think that's absolutely fantastic and i wish you all the best with your books and for those of you who have already been doing this for a little while i hope that my videos are still useful for you because i know some of this is really for beginners and maybe you are waiting to see something a little bit more advanced but I do have some more videos coming up that will be more advanced and they will be good for people who are beginners as well because I'm sure that you will get to that advanced level very quickly. So let me know in your comments what kind of videos you would like me to produce. And as always, I'm really grateful for every single one of you who's watching. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, because then you will get notifications every time I bring out a new video. So thank you very much for today and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.